the Olympic champion once again proving so consistent. So Greg Rutherford in the lead, courtesy of that second round jump of 8.29. Both the Americans have gone. Is he wrapping up this competition? Oh, it's another great performance from the Olympic champion. He is so good at peaking come the big occasion. Had a tough year in 2013 after winning the Olympic title on home territory, perfect on the board. And last year, in the space of two weeks, he showed brilliant maturity to become the Commonwealth and European champion, aiming to become only the fifth Briton to hold all four major titles at the same time. Yes, 8.41, he extends his lead. He is just so good when it comes to the major events. Asking the crowd to respond, we knew he was in good form, 8.34 and 8.32 in winning the Stockholm Diamond League. He's only the fifth Briton to hold the World, Olympic, Commonwealth and European titles all at the same time. 8.29, 8.41. He's getting himself a reputation as a fantastic major championship performer. He was just being asked there if he's going to go for his last jump. He's not interested. He's got the union flag. Oh, it's a union waistcoat, I beg your pardon. He's going to put that on. He's a good sport. He now must go down as one of the great British athletes in history. The Olympic champion, the Commonwealth champion, the European champion. And now he completes the set. He is the world champion, and deservedly so. First round, disappointing for Mayonga because he did literally sail over that eight-metre mark. What can he do in this second round? Here he comes again. Bang! Oh! Yep, that's a biggie. It really is. White flag this time. Looks down, impassive, but that is a massive jump. The lead at the moment was held by Lawson at 8.37. He's looking, he's looking, he's coming fast. Whoa. That yellow line, I think, is the, fa is the farthest that anyone's jumped in the competition, Lawson's mark. And I think he was well over that. Very rangy coming into the pit. Coach telling him what he should do, but whoa, he doesn't really need to. That's a massive 8.48, and he sails into first place. Whoa! <laughs> he really did, he did finish with a bag. Oh, wow, wonderful, wonderful competition and a great gold medal for South Africa here. Banyonga came in as the favourite and he really did produce the goods. One has to wonder what that jump would have been. They're not even showing maybe, or are they, what the distance over the plasticine was. But it doesn't matter. You come here to win the competition and he's done just that. Well, gold and bronze for South Africa. What a wonderful championship in the long jump. as TJ Gale jumped out to there. That was massive. Oh, the accuracy on the board. We heard from Mike Powell, didn't we? It's not world record figures, but it's up there. He'll be on the edge of his seat for sure. Just waiting for that distance to come up and it's 8 meters 69. This young athlete is having the championship of his life. Here's the reaction of the reigning world record holder. He loved it. And by the way, TJ Gale goes 10th on the all-time list with 8.69. He's into the top 10 best jumps ever seen anywhere in the world. He's into 10th position on the world's all-time list. And let me just remind you, James Beckford got a silver medal twice for Jamaica. No Jamaican man until this day, until this hour, has ever won the men's long jump title. And Gail has smashed his personal best. He has taken a spectacular leap into the unknown 
and it has delivered Jamaica a gold medal they will remember, but probably didn't expect.